so I put it down in the bay. Oh God, I'm concerned. Let's go and find out what it is, shall we? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Symmetria, False Symmetry's Patreon server. My name is Edith, and I am very happy to see you here. I am here inside my mob spawner, which is finished. Well, I say finished. Well, I've got all the layers done. I thought I'd give this this little decorative stripe. Just, I don't even know know why I did that. You're not going to see it, but I thought you know what I'd make it look semi nice, and I'm happy with how it's done. Uh, none of the redstone is done yet, of course. Uh, I haven't gotten round to that just yet but you know I've got the bulk building done that's the important thing so what are we going to be doing today well today is a very special episode because at the time of recording and about a week uh, about a week before or after or whichever one basically a week ago from the day this was uploaded was April Fool's Day yay very special day ah Spongebob's favorite holiday so um we're gonna do some pranking this episode <laughs> uh, I already explained a couple of episodes ago. Hey, I'm easily distracted. I already explained a couple of episodes ago the um, secret pool thing. So what we're gonna do is um, is we're gonna try and uh, get our um, victim decided. Go over there and uh, draw our victim's name and uh, get pranked ourselves. So. Yeah, let's uh let's get started on that. So as you can see, my prank has already been pulled, or the prank where I'm the victim at least uh, has already been done. Uh, I was going to add something to your bird, but there wasn't a pod. Yeah, it's kind of a uh, taken. So I put it down in the bay. Oh God, I'm concerned. Let's go and find out what it is, shall we? Oh, I hope it's well. I think whoever whoever did it knows knows a little bit about Thunderbirds because they did say pod. So I'm yeah I, I'm concerned, but I'm also hopeful that it's going to be a good one. So let's go down, shall we? Down in the bay, nothing yet. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but a little Thunderbird 4. Oh, that's brilliant. That's a nice prank. See, I'm, I'm probably going to keep this after. Wow, that is actually a really good looking one. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know who pranked me, but I mean, it's got little fins to control it, little lights, little everything, a little minecart in there. Oh my god. It, Whoever pr whoever did this, and look, even little details on the side and Thunderbird. F oh my god, that is amazing! I'm dubbing this the best prank ever, and I am not getting rid of this. I'm gonna light it up so no mobs spawn it, spawn on it. I know it ruins the look, but you know I didn't have much choice up there. Look at all those. That is the, that is brilliant. Whoever whoever did this. I know it, well, it's secret fools, so I don't expect them to come forward. Um, but oh, that's brilliant! <laughs> I'm gonna stand back and have another look. Come on, from the shot. Wow, I'm I'm very happy. That is fantastic. That's gonna be a nice little little addition to my base. I think that's that's really good. Ah, whoever whoever prank me, thank you. I um, <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <sighs> so, this is where Secret Balls is happening. This little, uh, very innocent looking present. You know, nothing to see here. Secret Balls! So, if we pop down here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Lovely. And nice little room here. So, uh, these are just some signs to warn people, you know, if you didn't sign up, please don't come here. This is where the names drop from. And if you get yourself. You put your name back up in there, try again. So let's just give it a test. Let's just see uh, who we get. So come on, coming through. Here's a name. And it, oh, it, it's me. Uh, let, let's try again. Let's give it another go. See who we get this time. It, it, oh, it, it, it's me again. Right, Um, one more try. Let's uh, hope it works this time. Come on, give me someone that's not me, please. Uh, oh, no, that's that's me. Um. 
Right, uh, I think the system might be a little bit broken, so I'm going to have a little look through and see if I can find any problems with it. So, yeah, that was just me kidding about, yeah. Um, so what I've just done is I've just actually uh, put the na proper names back in and uh, <laughs> and drawn uh, names, so I'm going to head over to my victim's base, uh, wherever that may be, and I'll tell you who it is when we get there. And I think I've come up with a good one. Um, actually, I've, I don't think I'll head straight over there. I might have to go grab some materials first, which may take me a while. But I will meet you guys over at my victim's base. So here is going to be the location of our prank. And the victim is Uli G. <laughs> uh, now, I've been keeping up this elaborate ruse in chat. I've got someone else, uh, Big Pig. Who plays on the server? Because Ole's on, and I don't want him to get suspicious. I'm gonna have to do this very, very quickly if I wanna if I wanna get away with it. But um, what he, what uh, he's done is he's built this little statue. He asked me to come have a look at it, see what I thought of it. Oh, I'm saying put me on a given time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you might need to give him a bit more time, mate. Um, he asked me to kind of give my opinion on this and possibly come up with something else. Well, I'm going to come up with something else, and it's going to be right over there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt a time lapse. Uh, if you don't see it, if it's just a jump cut, then you'll know that the time the time lapse failed. But I'm hoping I'm going to get one done. So let's get it started. Right, so you've either come from watching a time lapse or just straight from the last clip. Uh, only find out in editing. Uh, who knows uh, uh, if the time lapse actually worked. But um, I have finished the prank, and here it is. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, I know. Think what you want to think, but I'm pretty happy with how it, how uh, how it came out. So uh, Ole got his statue. Very, uh, very lovely, very appropriate. Uh, it, I started running out of materials with the pail, and I, I really did have to start to wing it with that. Um, but I, I think it turned out all right. I mean, there's, it looks a bit cubic there with the red and the where the red meets the orange. But you know, the rest of it came out pretty decently, so I'm happy with it. 
you'll see if if I do do the time lapse, you'll see that I, I was pausing, and stuttering, and hesitating quite a lot because I kept thinking, "Oh, have I built this right? Or have I built it wrong?" And I, it turns out I built it f just fine. So it uh, it I'll come back in the daytime once I've set up a little uh, sign and whatnot down there. But no, I'm really really happy with how that came out. I think uh, I can class that as a good prank. So we're back here in the pouring rain because I've just had a little sign there to let only know this is part of prank wars. So running glitch. Boop. Here we go. Thought your little statue over there, that one, could use some company. Use the fire of friendship to rid this area of sin. So I'll give him a little flint and steel if he wants to take it down. That is, if uh, if you're okay with that. So, and then uh, hide. So let's just back away and see how it looks from a few angles. Da -da -da. A little bit Death Strider. Ooh. Yeah, he's not going to miss that. <laughs> he's not going to miss that at all. Um, might have to try and torch it a bit, up a bit just to make sure mobs don't spawn on it. Um, so, yeah, I'll just get on that. There we go. All lit up and should be mob proof. Lovely. I can declare this prank a success. Yay! Now, uh, it, now, because this is so far out of the way, this is like the outer edge of Olo's base, even though it's completely massive. Or at least I think it's the outer edge. It could be just the middle of it. Oh, I know. All this forest is custom, so yeah. So it might be a while before he wanders through here, because the because of his uh, the size of his base. I mean, look, are those beacons? Or no, no. Anyway, yeah. So. What, uh, what I like about this prank is probably going to be lying in wait for quite a while before Ole notices it. But, um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out. I think I did a good job on this one. Now on to whatever's next. So, as it turns out, I didn't actually have anything else planned for this episode, but that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, wrapping up all the April Fool stuff into one episode... And it's got a short one, I know that, but you know, you've got to have some short ones, you've got to have some long ones. But let's just take in this view, Thunderbird 2 at sunrise. Doesn't it look absolutely epic? Oh, I'm so happy with how it came out. So, next episode, I have no idea what we're going to be doing, but isn't that all part of the mystery? I'm just uh, chilling out here. <laughs> I found some gold armour, I just thought, oh yeah, yeah, get me nice in there. Ready for some deep sea rescue. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with this. Whoever pranked me, thank you. I love you to bits. But um, this has been another episode. I have been 8-Bit. You have been absolutely wonderful. I hope you have a lovely day. Hope you had a good April Fool's Day as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.